The last stop of Pope Francis' visit to Leyte is the Palo Metropolitan Cathedral, where an audience of clergy, religious, and lay people will be waiting for their chance to see and listen to the Pope. Uh, he will come here and then he will be met by the priests of the parish, Dusa Harapan, Babubasha, and then he will be led to inside the church, straight to the front of the altar. Merong seat na prepared for him doon. Merong liturgical service, my reading ng the gospel. It's a it's a general audience. They will be there all together in one place. It's an intimate moment, really, with uh, the Pope, with the with the people who are there uh, at the cathedral. It lasts about forty five minutes. It's a uh, long schedule. But having sustained heavy damage from Yolanda, preparing the cathedral itself proved a most challenging task. This was. Uh, gravely damaged by Yolanda. So it took us time. Uh, see, we cannot, we cannot put the ceiling until we put the roof in. We cannot put the wiring until <laughs> the scaffolding is there. Uh, and we had limited workers. So I, that was the greatest challenge for us, was the uh, rebuilding, or, uh, rebuilding the cathedral. But the real highlight of the Pope's last stop will not actually happen inside the cathedral, but in the grotto outside. There, the Pope will go out to light a candle and offer a short prayer for the victims whose lives Yolanda claimed. After that, he will uh, go, come out of the church. He will have a few moments of prayer there. Uh, sabi nung Vatican, this is a very important moment. The, the, yung idea ay, he came for, for the victims of Yolanda. And these are the, the ultimate victims. Albert Garong, Society of St. Paul, reporting for Sambuhay TV.